Welcome to another 13 cubed short. This time we're going to take a quick look at Event Finder 2 from Mike Peterson of nullsec.us. This C-sharp utility will allow an investigator to quickly obtain an Excel-friendly export of the contents of all Windows EVTX logs within a specified time range. The data can then be easily sorted and filtered to facilitate quick analysis. You'll note example use cases and detailed usage directions listed here, and at the very bottom you'll see a couple of screenshots. Let's see this in action for ourselves. We'll go back up to the top and click on Releases. As of the recording of this episode, the newest release is 2.1, so we'll save this to the desktop and minimize the browser. We're going to need to run the tool as administrator so that it has access to all of the Windows EBTX files and you'll note this version is not currently signed. We'll continue past these prompts, and here is Event Finder. If we click the Start Time and End Time buttons, the current date and time is populated, and I'll simply change the start time back one day, so we're looking at the past 24 hours worth of events. We can now click the Find Events button and let the tool do its job. When the tool is finished running, you'll notice the status change to Run Complete, and on the desktop will be a CSV file with the contents. We can close Event Finder, and now let's open the CSV file with Excel. First, let's do a little housekeeping by auto-sizing all of the columns to fit. Now let's go to Data and enable Filtering. Then we'll go to View and freeze the top row, which makes it much easier as we're scrolling and we'll go back home and color code it as well. We are now looking at the full contents of all of these Windows event IDs through all of these Windows event logs within the past 24 hours on this Windows 10 system. This is literally the same data that you would see within Windows Event Viewer or Event Log Explorer or some sort of third party tool. The columns across the top show system time, ID, which is the Windows event ID, and all of the other information that you would expect to find within each of these logs. We can easily filter, of course, and search through any of this data. So now let's go ahead and take a look at auto sizing all of the rows to fit as well. We can do this so that we can see the full contents of the message field and other fields within this data. Of course, we can do each row independently, or I can simply do all of them, which is what I will do here. So let's go ahead and highlight this and double click here. And now everything is fully expanded. And as we scroll down, notice the message field is fully populated with the full contents of what you would see within that Windows event log. We'll continue to scroll down and there is a wealth of data that we have at our disposal. The great thing here is that we're looking across all of the Windows event logs, not just a single event log. On a common Windows 10 system, there are well over 100. You may only be familiar with application system and security. Now let's filter on a particular Windows event ID. We'll choose 4624, which is a successful logon event. So I'll simply type in 4624 and click OK. And when we do this, pay attention to the message section. You'll notice the logon type, the account names, the account domain, all of the information you would expect to find. And it's just that easy. So I certainly hope that you're able to see the value of this utility. It can very easily allow us to grab these logs and using a tool like Excel, we can have numerous ability to filter and parse the data. So that wraps it up for this 13 cube short. I hope you found this informative and useful and I'll catch you in the next one.